Thai police have long been trying, in vain, to clean up Pattaya's image as the sex capital of the world, a dark escape from reality for Western tourists with loose morals and money to burn. Now the death of a 26-year-old prostitute who fell to her death from a fifth-floor balcony following a sex session with ex-squatty Reese Vela has thrust the holiday resort town back into the spotlight. But those who truly know Pattaya infamous for its 24-hour clubs, prostitute-lined streets and tourist deaths will tell you this is nothing new. Where the Spanish holiday hotspots were once be the resort of choice for British fugitives, they are now fast turning to the more exotic sites of Thailand. An expert who has worked in Thailand for 25 years told The Mirror, the police are very pliable. The gang included six men from Russia, four from Uzbekistan and one each from Ukraine, Belarus, Morocco, and Iran, Thai Visa reported. In a single day of raids in November, local officers made 180 arrests, seizing 41 guns and 97,000 methamphetamine tablets. And after the high-profile arrest of an Australian Hells Angels members, they are warning of the growing danger of foreign biker gangs terrorizing Pattaya. Last month, Luke Joshua Cook, 34, and his Thai wife Kanyar at Wedfatak were arrested at Bangkok's main over an attempt to smuggle half a ton of crystal meth into Thailand in 2015. The arrest comes amid a crackdown on the Hells Angels who have chapters based in Bangkok and Pattaya, now notorious for its seedy nightlife and criminal networks. British, African and Australian conmen are known to be heavily involved in credit card scams, drug dealing, counterfeiting and the sex industry, the Mirror reports. British national George Tower, 73, was charged with having sex with a person under 13 at his home in Haiya sub-district, Chiang Mai, in May 2016. In 2015, 64-year-old Simon Brycecore, another Brit, was arrested after two 16-year-old boys claimed he did not fulfill his promise to pay them 500 baht, 11 pounds, for sex each. As many as 2,000 of Thailand's street children reside in Pattaya, according to Human Help Network Foundation Thailand. In a report, the charity said, child prostitution in Pattaya will flourish as long as the number of homeless children remains high. Rather than working via go-go bars as previously, children coaxed into the sex trade now roam the streets at night or shopping malls in the day and approach prospective clients themselves.
They used to accept cash with no ticket, but I now understand that the ticket never gets to the police station unless you take it yourself, added elite poster Toranova. Many Thai police checkpoints are really a sham, according to Pattaya Daily News who claim they are not really for catching criminals but for making money for the cops. Only last week, a 56-year-old German man was found dead with a burn marks on both legs and a belt around his neck in Pattaya. The Bangkok Post reported. Russian holidaymaker Dinard of Letbeef, 29, fractured his skull and broke several bones after jumping from the 12th floor balcony of his hotel in Nong Pru in February. The very same day Lyudmila Kabarova, also from Russia, was killed when a driver hit the elderly woman with her Toyota in nearby Bangsari, according to local website Holiday Pattaya. Almost every Thai town has a brothel and Pattaya is one of the cities benefiting most from prostitution. It is Pattaya where ex Squatty Vela, from Birmingham, was filmed walking hand in hand with now deceased prostitute Jan Huathan, 26. She was found dead at 5 30 a.m. the same morning after falling naked from a fifth floor balcony while allegedly having extravagant sex with Vela. Wanipa suffered fatal head injuries and was found on the street alongside a packet of sex drugs, while Vela fled on a motorbike after allegedly taking her phone. The Thailand resort located in the east of the country has been branded the modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah, the biblical kingdom infested with vice and sin. Many sex workers come from the impoverished Northeast and see selling their bodies as a way out of poverty. Prostitutes can earn up to 5,000 baht, 114 pounds, a night, nearly 20 times the minimum wage of 300 baht, 7 pounds, per day. Last year, news.com.au reporter Luke Williams visited Pattaya and spoke to the Western tourists who visit the sleazy sex capital. A local police officer told him that the city is like a cowboy town in the Wild West a hundred years ago. A popular t-shirt sold at stalls features the slogan, Good guys go to heaven, bad guys go to Pattaya. At a bar called Kangaroo Corner, Luke chatted to a man from Melbourne, Australia, who said, I prefer Thai women, I've been burned too many times by women back home. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun.